In 2013, American scientists featured an article on odd ice formations on plant stems, including these curling ribbons of ice. One of the types of ice discussed in the article was hair ice, long, thin strands of ice that only grow under quite specific conditions. The only problem is that a new study shows, the formation theory put forth at the time, that gas pressure pushes the water out to become the ice strands, isn't correct. We asked Christian Matzler, a physicist at the University of Bern in Switzerland, and the lead author of the study, to provide an update on the hair ice formation mechanism. The earlier idea was that the water is pushed out by some gas pressure acting inside the wood. But when we thought about how gas pressure can pump out the water from the vessels inside the wood, it occurred to us that it's not possible to then to grow hairs of several centimeters lengths when the diameter of the branch is only about five to so ten millimeters. So it seems to be as soon as the air gets at the surface of the wood, then a bubble must form and that's it. Then the, the pressure is gone. Dr. Motzler explained that pressure cannot be the cause of the long hair ice forming because in samples of wood where the fungus was killed off by heat, the same quantity of ice formed on the surface, but not in the same formation, just a crust instead of the hairs. And on the other hand, I got in contact with people who suggested uh, ice segregation to be active here in this case. And it turned out that this is a... Just the opposite. It, it's not a, a pressure, it's a suction. The water is sucked out by a force that is, that is caused by the ice. Dr. Motzler explains how ice forms during ice segregation. From the way the wood is cooled, it must first form on the surface. As soon as this ice exists there, it touches the wood. And the ice doesn't like to touch the wood. It needs more energy than when there is some water in between. So a small water film acts as a medium between the wood. In other words, as new ice forms, it pushes the older ice upward, creating the long, thin hairs. But what about the fungus? It turns out that its role comes in once the hair ice has formed, preventing the thin hairs from clumping together in a process called recrystallization. The ice tries to reduce the surface because the surface costs energy and therefore when more and more ice comes together it, it tries to form larger crystals and, and reduce in this way the overall surface of, of the ice. Dr. Motzler explained that it's still an open question of what substance from the fungus is preventing recrystallization. I think the fungus must provide this material but we still don't know what it is. It could be the lignin particles, which uh, the fungus decomposes, but I'm not sure if it's this or if it's something else. It could be that the fungus is simply the mediary, decomposing the lignin in the wood into the key substance that mixes with the freezing water. When hair ice melts, it appears that some droplets form on a very tiny string, and because that lasts only for a short moment, it was not possible to see it in the microscope. And this microstring could be the material on which the ice particles stick in order not to recrystallize. If this is the case, then it would be worth looking at melting hair ice and then try to develop a method to separate the remaining water from this string and see if this is possible. For American Scientist Magazine, I'm Fenella Saunders. Thank you for listening.